All right, so this is going to be a hot take here. Um, camera angle is going to be horrible, but uh, let's be honest, most of my videos are about looking, <laughs> not, not really seeing anything but other than just listening to my uh, point of view anyway. So uh, I'm in the middle of doing a couple of things, so I, I just wanted to go ahead. I heard this video, or I heard that, uh, you know, I read that Jordan Peterson says that if... Uh, Brett Kavanaugh has confirmed he should step down, and he later said that, that uh, I'm paraphrasing here, that we need a more uh, less divisive uh, candidate. I, I find that kind of hypocritical. You know, I, I do find that hypocritical, and I'm not going to say that any of uh, all of his other works and everything don't uh, like. I'm not going to say that they're that they're suddenly irrelevant. That like a leftist would say they're suddenly irrelevant. He says something I don't like. Uh, what I'm going to say here is. I find it very hypocritical that a person that has been slandered as much as he has with no proof, with no proof, just like Brett Kavanaugh, no one that can corroborate anything that can ever say that Jordan Peterson is in fact, in fact a Nazi, racist, sexist, big and homophobe, whatever, no one has ever said anything like that. I mean, uh, no, never found any uh, any uh, any proof of him being that way and, and going and to gonna throw him under the bus. So, yeah, I'm going to say you're a freaking hypocrite when it comes to that. Jordan Peterson is a hypocrite when it comes to that. Less divisive? Are you serious? When, you, when some guy slandered you on, um, on, uh, on, on, I think it was Twitter that one day, and you threatened violence against the dude. What? You threatened violence. And, 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 and I feel it was, a, it was appropriate. Of course, I would never come fist, you know, throwing fist over some words, but you know, you threatened violence over that dude, or over being called a racist or whatever that was. So yeah, I think it was by somebody that you've known for years, that he's known for years and stuff like that. Hey, it is what it is. I'm pretty sure that 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 really pissed him off because someone's going to call him a racist just because of something he that he thinks. This man right here, Brett Kavanaugh, is being called a freaking gang rapist. They are convicting this man because of something he did 36 freaking years ago that they say he did 36 years ago. No proof. Nobody can say he did it. Nothing. He has, he has done it. That is it. He is over. And you got, and, and he's getting, Jordan Peterson has nerve to talk about someone less divisive. Why don't they ask for somebody else less divisive than him, than Jordan Peterson? I don't like that. Uh, you're, you're too divisive, man. You said that you wouldn't use uh, the gender pronouns. You you said you wouldn't do that. So I'm gonna tell you what. You're you're a little divisive for me. Even though I even you know even though I agree with you, you're still a little bit divisive. You know. So I, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need someone that 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 just won't piss everyone off. The thing is, is that these Democrat senators, but before th there were protest signs and everything, and these Democrat senators. Uh, uh, had already said they were going to reject the nominee no matter who he put up there. So we, so saying someone is divisive is freaking bullcrap because they were never going to pick pick anybody that that or they were never going to pick anybody that Trump picked anyway. So so what are you talking about? They already said it. They said they wouldn't do it anyway. So it didn't matter if they had freaking Mary Poppins up there. If Mary Poppins was up there, and and Mary Poppins was was against uh, uh, abortion or nominated by Trump, they they were going to drag that woman. So get the hell out of here talking about uh, someone less divisive. Get the hell out of here. Uh, the one thing I will say is this is going to be a true test right here for all the people. For all the people on the right in the intellectual dark web and all that, this is going to be a true test right here and see if it will stay together. Right here. This can be, this is going to be a, a test because we're going to see a bunch of freaking right wing idiots that are going to sit back and throw Jordan Peterson completely under the bus. I guarantee you behind this, this is what is, this is going to be, the, this is the test right here. Like I said, hey, I agree with him on most things, and and we and he's already always said he's a little bit he's a little bit on, on the left, and that's fine. But all all I'm saying here is to say that you're that you're a little um, that.
you need someone less divisive after they after your name has been drugged through the mud as well is bullcrap it's total bullcrap and they were and the, the main point here is that they were gonna down they were they they didn't even they they already had their picket signs made it, all they had to do was just wait they waited it was already filling the blank uh right camera all right we got right there then they were gonna do that anyway so what the hell are you talking about no someone less divisive they already said they weren't gonna vote didn't matter and they were gonna just go ahead and just and just slander the hell out of whoever the hell you put if you put you up there then they would slander the hell out of you even more so than they freaking did um 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 uh then they did him so yeah didn't matter who it was. It was because Trump did it, and it's part of the resistance. Anyway, that's my thoughts on that. I had to go ahead and say something about it because I I don't I don't know where the hell he came out. He came out left field on that one. Hit me right between the eyes. <laughs> anyway, um, comment, like, share, subscribe, and all that, and we'll see you next.